Hello friend, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will show you a free tool to generate the manual test cases automatically. Get the steps to file a bug or report a bug as well as a screenshot. You will also get the XPath and CSS selector if you want to write the automation script for the generated manual test cases automatically. So let's get it started and I will request you if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the selector sub YouTube channel to get all the latest updates on these innovative tools free tools for the company okay so this is test case studio absolutely free recorder plugin it is available for all the browsers and how you can install and get started with it so let's see just go to selectorsub.com here you will see that test case studio here so just click on this install and in this page you will find very three simple steps to get started with this browser plugin it is available here as I mentioned for all the browsers so first we have to add then we have to pin it to toolbar and then we can click on the test case studio logo to get started so let's say we want to get started with Chrome so click on install here and you see that add to chrome button here so just simply click on this and click on add extension you can see more than 30,000 testers already using it you can also check out the review here so all five star rated featured and everything is there this is absolutely safe and secure if you feel that uh, was the because this is a recorder plugin so is there any privacy issue or something so that you can check it out it is absolutely safe and secure it runs offline as well you can see that under overview runs offline so it runs in your local we don't save any of your user data any of your uh, recorded steps nothing we don't save anything it runs offline in your local system okay so now installation is done you will see that you will observe one new tab will open when you will install this testing daily so we will also recommend you guys that please install this plugin as well this is one of the like highly recommended plugin to get all the latest testing blog feeds updates What's happening in testing space so like you see that if we open new tab it opens like google if we install this add to chrome add extension and now you will observe that whenever we will open a new tab you will see that it will show you this kind of feed which will help you to keep updated with the latest testing trends and blocks right so this will be very very helpful okay now let me just close all these tabs coming back to the uh, test case studio so we have installed this let's close this so after installing it what is the second step now pin the extension to toolbar in your browser so here you see that now right now testing test case studio logo this logo is not visible here so what you have to do click on this default extension logo in chrome and then pin it to tool now you can see that it is here okay so we are all set now test test case studio is installed on on our browser and we have done the setup what you have to do simply whenever you open now you can start your testing basically like whatever application you have and you want to test on that and you want to record the manual test case or you want to get the steps everything for your exploratory testing web testing so just open the application let's say we want to test it on flipkart.com so this is an e-commerce website e-commerce website and suppose here we want to test a complete flow and we want to record those steps like generate the manual test case automatically for, for that complete flow so what you have to do just simply click on this logo that's all and you observe that this is this kind of window will open here and this is test case studio window now simply start doing your testing so suppose we want to uh, let's say search for something let's say we search for uh, airports here hit enter you click on any <coughs> link here then suppose we click on add to cart and uh, then we let's say click on this amount here okay so we have done couple of steps here you can also click on place order and you can keep just continuing continue like this okay so let's continue here it is asking for this accept so we have done couple of steps here. okay now let's open this so here you will observe that all these steps has been recorded like let me start here so you see that all these steps has been recorded like oh, first we have open website then we have entered airports in this then we press enter then we click here this this each and every steps has been recorded 
you can simply download this as a test case or if you want to suppose there is a bug at this particular point so you can simply copy these steps and paste it to your developer and tell him that these are the steps to reproduce the bug also like if you want to by yourself you want to reproduce the issue you need not to recall those steps that what were those steps with which you can reproduce this issue you can directly follow these steps from here and you will be able to reproduce them another good thing is like uh, you need not to take the screenshot uh, like here you see that generally what we have to do suppose at this point there is a bug so we have to take this screenshot like this then we have to highlight the particular field where is the where the bug is like this and then we we will be able to share this screenshot with uh, developer or we have to we attach the in our jira tool but here you see that in test case studio all the screenshots are there like here you see that wherever we have clicked that field is highlighted and it is letting us know that here we have like click on add to cart so we have clicked on that there we have clicked on price so you see that click on this and that is that particular field is highlighted so we will be like easily able to understand that this is the screenshot and for this is the for this step this is the screenshot you can simply right click copy the image paste it to developer that this is the screenshot where we got the bug so that particular thing is very nice here automatically all the screenshots are being generated here so you can use those screenshots as well here you get the data as well so basically you got steps data and you see that suppose you want to write the manual uh, you want to convert this manual test case into automation test case automation script then you have the xpath and css selector so you need not to go back and again open the browser to uh, get the xpath and css selector you can directly use these xpath and css selector these xpath and css selectors are being generated with the logic of selector sub so selector sub has been used behind the scenes so you can trust on that these xpath and selectors are very very reliable and stable also suppose you uh, want to add any step or uh, delete any particular step in that case you have the plus button here you just click on this plus and then here you can add the step and you can like anything you want to add let's say you want to add some uh, wait time so wait for 5 seconds something like that that you can do here so this is how you can uh, also like add step and if you feel that you want to delete any step which got by mistake recorded that you can delete from there are a lot many features in the uh, test case studio so here one is this that you can download this test case uh, like complete test case and these so you can simply just download this if you want uh, this test case so when you click on this it will get downloaded here and then you can just open this uh, file and check out those it also get the you also get the screenshot like if we go to download folder and open the file here let me open this format so you can just open the file you see that you get these steps data expected result i mean that can be uh, you can define if you want xpath css selector so you get everything here in this file also in this file you will get this like what was the os version in, in which you were doing the testing what whether that was windows or mac you get the uh, version you get the browser browser name browser version resolution of the system which in which you were doing the testing as well as the timestamp so this will be very very helpful for the developer or in future if you want to refer the same test case that on which system what device uh, what browser you have done the testing so very very helpful in that case and you got also get the screenshot so all the screenshots also got downloaded in your system so that you can just check it out and all the screenshot used to have these like uh, name of the screenshot will be same as the steps so these are this is a kind of like a screenshot test case you get so like you you will not have to figure it out like what was the steps when you were doing this but uh, what is the purpose of this screenshot like what was the use of this screenshot so from the name of the screenshot you can get to know that okay this is for entering the value airports in this particular field you see that the field is highlighted and the name of the screenshot is there so these all the screenshots are very very useful in fact like just you a screenshot can be used as a test case so this is very very useful and here uh, there are like many other features 
like uh, if you want to execute these steps in English so we also have done the integration with test trigger so if you click on this it will take you to the test trigger website and there your test case will execute and it will generate the script which you can re-execute re on test trigger website so that is also very helpful here in case of uh, like if you want to re-execute your test case there are many other features like if you want to pause the recording you can just click on this button and recording like now if you will perform any action here or there here and there like we are scrolling and we are clicking somewhere then it will not record those steps you see that the steps are not being recorded here but if you again click on this resume and here if you will perform action like any action you will perform that it will again start recording you see that it has recorded then here more filters are there like suppose if you want to generate xpath or css selector with particular some particular attributes like you don't want to generate with id or class that feature is there you can just uncheck this it will now not use id to generate the xpath and css selector it will go with some other attribute so that is there you can delete all the steps like if you want to record a fresh test case you can just click on this delete button it will delete all the steps like this and now if you start again recording it will be like the very first step uh, it will record with the first step. here there are more customization let's say you don't want to uh, don't want this expect result column xpath or css selector column that you can hide from here so now if you will download the test case it will not have those uh, columns like which we have hide from here so this is another advantage like you just want the uh, data and the steps this data and the steps then in that case you just have two columns download this very simple if you want to hide this screenshot column that also you can hide you can also turn off this screenshot like if you doesn't want to take this screen. so these are some of the amazing features in test case studio which will help you guys to save a lot of time and energy and uh, like tedious task which you doesn't want to uh, do manually like you don't want to write these all steps like click here uh, send this type this value scroll down and all those things you don't want to do manually then in that case you get these steps automatically from here you just have to do click on this logo before starting your testing you can also generate the partial code there is a set driver command just turn on this and you see that you are getting driver.find element by.xpath along with that xpath value you can also customize this value here like if you want to change the value so let's say you are using something like by.xpath in that case you just delete this from here and hit enter you see that you are getting so wherever in your command you have xpath replace that with xpath value keyword and just enter that value here and hit enter it will generate that particular so this is how you can generate the code as well partial code we also have the pro version of this test case studio before i show that pro version what all features are there you can also like before downloading this test case you can also set the test case name here like suppose you want to set anything so here i can set the test case name so if you will click on download now so it will download with this uh, particular test case name demo you see that demo demo and here if you will not set any name by default it will download with the uh, url of this particular application your application uh, followed by timestamp so that like you get to here we have the pro version as well which will have a lot more features uh, which can help you a lot guys like recording multiple test case you can customize the complete template let's say you are not using this template is not supported by your company or your test management tool you need more columns you need more customization you want to rename this particular column all those things can be done in pro version like you can customize the template 100 percent as per your requirement you can add new columns you can delete columns you can also record the video screen like a screen recording you can do in pro version you will be able to like let's say by mistake you have deleted this step so here you cannot undo but in pro version you would be able to undo that you will get the get the network locks as well you can download the last test case so a lot more things are there in pro version like if i show you quickly here so pro version is uh, very simple you just have to install the pro version and take the subscription of that and uh, subscription is very very cheap so just a meal cost per year so that you can take and here you can see that this is the pro version and now if here if you record something and do everything like in free version you get everything so here you have these steps a screenshot everything you see that the screen can be recorded here suppose now we want to record a one more test case so here what you can do save and continue and you see here now now you will be able to record a new test case here. 
So you see that this is the second test case. Now here you see first test case, here you see second test case. If you want to download all of them, you can download all of them. Or if you want to select a particular test case, let's say you just want to download the first test case, in that case you can select this and download. If you want both, you can select both of them. You can add a step, delete a step. If in the free version you were able to add a new row or a new step just after that only, here you have option to like add before, after, duplicate row. You can also add a pre-filled row like if you have set a pre-filled row so that also like here under this customization you have a lot more features like you can add column you can delete column you can set a pre-filled row you can stop recording this is scroll event shift key or arrow keys small small things if you don't want to record here you get the actual real column as well locks as well so lot more things you used to get in the uh, pro version uh, here you can download the last test case let's say by mistake if we close this window in that case you have the option to download here you get the network locks as well you can check the locks what were the locks here for that particular steps you can record the screen as well here you get the undo button so lot more things you get in pro version which will help you guys to uh, do the things as per you want you can rename this like let's say you want to make it as a test steps column name you want to like uh, let's say you want to uh, like uh, move, change the order of these uh, particular columns then in that case you can switch them here and there wherever you want to keep them so that you can do in this you can customize complete template like arrange column delete column add columns so a lot more things you can done we have also created a separate detailed video tutorial about the pro version which these features uh, help you like how these features can help you guys a lot to do the documentation of test cases and your complete testing process so please do check it out this will really really help you guys a lot and i hope you will enjoy the free version as well and if you feel that you want to go beyond that then you can of course upgrade the pro version how you can start with pro version let me just quickly show you here uh, you can see that this is the test case studio pro click on this here and on the website you will find the steps to get started with this simply click to uh, add it in your browser take the subscription and get it very simple also you can compare here under pro plans you can compare the uh, free version and pro version features and here if you are from india you can take it uh, the pro version plan from here if you are from outside india you can take it from here these are the steps just click here if you want to take the plan so here you can see the lifetime lifetime plan is available annual monthly and business plans are also available so if you are uh, in place if you don't want to take it from your pocket you can ask your company to take the pro plan and uh, you can take the free trial as well so and anytime you can cancel if you doesn't like so yeah anyways uh, so this is the like pro version as well i have shown you quickly and the free version i hope this will help you guys a lot and it will save a lot of time while uh, doing the documentation of testing while filing the bug getting the steps and everything so yeah that's all about the test case studio one of the highest rated uh, plugin in chrome store with all five star rated and will highly recommend all of you and please let others know if uh, your team or your testing community is not aware about this product you can see that and please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you thank you so much.